Hello again, Adam Bazalgette here in beautiful Naples, Florida, another sunny day. I want to talk to you today about an interesting subject, how high to tee your irons on par threes can make quite a difference. Uh, I'm a former David Ledbetter at Golf Academy director and founder of scratchgolfacademy.com. So let's have a look at this important subject. Okay, how high to tee irons on par threes? Uh, now, a lot of people don't use long irons so much anymore, but this principle would apply for a hybrid three or four. I'm gonna demonstrate for you here a nine iron and a four iron. They're very similar, but you have to get certain principles down. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a close up to give you a better sense of what we're talking about. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Certainly, I'd love for you to subscribe to the channel. We'll get you lots of free content going forward. Let's take a close up look then at what is required when you tee the ball up and what are the pitfalls. So as we look close up, this ball is actually on a tee. You can see the tee there, but it's just, just at the top level of the blades of grass. And that's what I would recommend. Here's the reason why. This is a nine iron. As we've said in other videos, if you've tuned in, the sweet spot's about here. The sweet spot is not down there and it is not up here. So it's down here. Now when a ball is laying on the turf, this is a nine iron again, you have to have some forward lean for solid contact there, if you can see that. And that means a fractionally, fractionally descending blow. That's the habit you want to be in. Now, when you go to a par three, you're in the middle of a round, what you don't want to do is tee it in such a fashion, let's say like that, that if you then make a correct impact, you make your normal impact, I'm assuming your normal impact is a good slight descending blow, you then wind up hitting it too high on the face. Can you see that? What'll happen, either you'll hit a very unsolid shot up here, or more likely you'll react to that and start lifting or scooping for solid contact. So you never want to create such a difference in T height for a short iron that you have to change your impact for solid contact. It's too difficult to do, it's not necessary. Now, let's have a look at a four iron. This is right now is the longest iron in my bag. Used to be a, used to think I was a dynamo, had like a two and a one iron in there, but that's a while ago. I would tee that just a little bit higher, maybe like, maybe like that. I could just get maybe the bottom of this tee under there. So this is slightly, it was almost like a fluffy lie in the rough. Reason again, sweet spot's about the same. We don't need as much descending hit with a four iron as the golf ball to make solid contact. It's not leaning away from the ball like a nine iron. So by teeing it just a hair higher, I could play the ball a little bit more forward. We're talking small amounts here. And it just allows me to sweep it a little bit more and maybe get a little bit more height on a long iron. So it's by nature a slightly more sweeping hit. We don't need the tilt for the sweet spot on the ball. And just a little bit higher would help you with that. So I hope that makes it clear as to what you're trying to do. You just got to practice a little bit. It's not that difficult uh, so that you can do it pretty quickly and instinctively. Well, I hope that gives you a little bit of insight there as to how high to tee the ball with your irons on par threes. Uh, and if you get in the good habits there and you do that consistently, I trust it will help you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Love to have you subscribe to the channel. We'll get you free content coming along on a host of subjects and different things. Scratchgolfacademy.com is my website. There's all sorts of material for you there. Best of luck with your irons. Thanks for, thanks for joining in.